Hello, this is Michael with Beyond 20, and we're going to discuss some new features with the Sharewell widgets changes that were made in version 10 of Sharewell. What I have for you today is a out-of-the-box version of 10.0.2 of Sharewell, and we've modified the My Work dashboard here to illustrate the two new widget changes. We have the Flyout widget, and we're going to show you some other changes to the browser widget because the flyout widget is kind of like a browser widget, but with special functionality. What we have here is a tab that allows you to collapse and expand the actual area where the widget is taking up space. And we've placed a widget underneath it here on this dashboard here. So the way that we do that is we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit and I'll show you some of the details on the widget itself here. As we wait for this to open. So you can see here that I've got two widgets that are basically layered on top of each other. Now the thing you'll have to be careful of here, and this is one thing, is the Flyout widget doesn't exactly fill the same area, so I've had to minimize the widget underneath it so it doesn't overflow that area. So that's just something to be cautious of when you're building this here. So underneath here, I have my search result widget right here. So it's a search result widget. And then over here on the left of that, I have my flyout widget. <clears throat> and so you can see here that the type here is flyout. So when you're looking at that, that's that you basically give it a tab text, a tab color, which you can configure here. Um, you have the width of it. And then you've got your website. Now this is a new feature that they've enhanced some of the functionality for browser widgets, which Flyout is a type of browser widget. In version 9.7, or previous versions from 10, the URL field was a simple text field that you had to hard code. But now they've actually made it to where you can uh, use expressions, uh, use stored values, use metric values, so what I've done is I've just created a stored value to the beyond 20 URL here. But you could theoretically use an expression such as a case expression um, where a user selects a certain value and then based on that case expression you could have different uh, actual URLs that it would actually use which is kind of cool uh, within Sharewell here. But for simplicity's sake we went with just a simple stored value here so that uh, just because we're going to show one actual website here. And we're going to go ahead and show you what 9.71 looks like, just to kind of contrast the difference here. So this is a 9.7 system, and if we go into the Widget Manager at 9.7, and let's go ahead and create a new browser widget, you can see here that the website and HTML page, notice there's a lot of functionality that in the browser that you don't have uh, in this version, but in 10.02, you have a diff additional actual functionality. <clears throat> so let's switch back to our version 10 widget here. And the other thing that we can do is we can change the tab positioning of the widget. So in this, in the case here of, we have it set to right. Now this is the thing that's tricky here is when you set it to right, when it's collapsed, the actual tab will appear on the opposite side. So you have to be careful because if I set it to left and then I save it, the actual widget bar, once this refreshes, is now going to be over here on the right-hand side. So you can see here it's over here on the right, 
and I have my widget here, and then when I click on this, it then moves over to the left there. So that's just something to pay attention to when looking at the actual tab position. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to more videos on our website and YouTube. Thank you.